Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good evening everyone. Uh, so first of all, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to Gamification Center of Unimas for this uh, opportunity. Uh, so hopefully uh, this evening we can learn something uh, about Minecraft Education Editions. So uh, first of all, before we go further, uh, I would like to uh, introduce myself. So my name is Muhammad Ali Finosman. My students call me Cego Ali. Momentarily, I teach geography subject in a boarding school, uh, MRSM to Muhammad Wa Stevens. Uh, Sandra Kan Sabah. Uh, this year would be my uh, seventh year, uh, you know, as a teacher. Uh, I started using and integrate Minecraft in my classroom uh, since 2017. Uh, since then, we uh, conduct uh, various type of Minecraft project with my students. Uh, so today I uh, will be. Uh, uh, sharing about our journey uh, in Minecraft Education Editions. I'm not going to discuss complex uh, theories about game-based learning or gamifications uh, or a process how to play Minecraft Education Editions. I'm just sharing uh, and showcasing my students' project and a bit, uh, a bit, uh, some tips and tricks on how to get started with Minecraft Education Edition. So as you can see in my screen, uh, there is two main objectives for these uh, sessions, which is uh, the first one, I will bring all of you to, uh, to get to know Minecraft Education Edition. And the second one, uh, I will share some tips or tricks uh, on how to get started with Minecraft Education Editions particularly in uh, how to integrate Minecraft Education Edition in, in the classrooms. Uh, before that, I am a geography teacher. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I will show some of my uh, students work uh, related to the geography subject. Uh, okay, first of all, uh, what is Minecraft? I believe uh, most of us uh, know what Minecraft is. So basically, Minecraft uh, is, an, is a sandbox video game uh, founded uh, on November 2011, uh, where it's, it's, it's basically a block-based game uh, where each block representing various materials such as uh, trees, uh, uh, animals, uh, yeah, it's representing a various material that uh, replicating uh, real things in the world. So to play Minecraft, we can use this kind of devices. I think uh, most of devices are compatible uh, with Minecraft education, with Minecraft, uh, which is we can use uh, either a tablet or game consoles, laptop or PC. Or PC and it can be played uh, online or offline. So Minecraft also uh, one, of the, one of the most popular game, video game in the world. Uh, and there is various type of Minecraft, which is Java, Bedrock Education Edition or China Edition. So today I will focusing on Minecraft Education Edition only because uh, this kind of uh, Minecraft we use in uh, in my classrooms for this uh, five years. Okay, actually, uh, the the game concept uh, of Minecraft, we know that there is uh, several type of Minecraft such as Java Bedrock uh, Education Edition or China Editions, but for me myself, uh, there is no uh, differences in terms of uh, game concept on how we move uh, the character, how we place or destroy the block and whatsoever. But there is a slight 
uh, a big differences between Minecraft Education Editions and the other Minecraft versions, which is uh, in Minecraft Education Edition, there is some of exciting and additional, uh, you know, uh, features, which is the chemistry lab, uh, which is students can uh, do some ex science experiment in Minecraft. And then there is a 3D exporting where students can export their, uh, you know, their work and mix it into the uh, mixed reality. And one of the, uh, I think one of the biggest differences between uh, Minecraft Education Editions with the, uh, the other Minecraft uh, version is the classroom mode where teacher can see uh, the movement, what the students do uh, in the game and whatsoever. And then uh, the other thing is uh, the code builder where we can use Minecraft Education Edition to learn about code, coding. Uh, there is three types of uh, uh, code editor, which is uh, we can use uh, make code, uh, Python, JavaScript, and, you, and also Tinker. Uh, and another thing is uh, we can use this kind of uh, this kind of element, which is uh, uh, portfolio, book and quill, uh, NPC uh, to, uh, to, to enable students uh, to write in Minecraft Education Edition. So they are not only uh, build something, uh, build a building or uh, uh, they just not uh, place a block or destroy a block or build something, but they also can uh, write something uh, in Minecraft Education Edition. So these five features uh, not available in uh, not available in uh, Java Minecraft or Minecraft Bedrock, uh, Minecraft uh, Pocket Editions. All right, so uh, actually we can use Minecraft Education Editions to, to teach uh, anything, I would say that. Uh, uh, but I only highlighted uh, six subjects uh, where my friend and I have already uh, integrated Minecraft in this uh, particular ways, uh, which is the first one we can use Minecraft Education Edition to teach uh, math. Uh, I saw one teachers, uh, I, I saw uh, one teachers uh, using uh, Minecraft Education Edition to teach uh, decimal uh, and fractions. And then we also can use uh, Minecraft Education Edition to teach uh, Malay language or even English languages. Uh, because uh, in Minecraft Education Editions, as mentioned before, we can use uh, uh, one element uh, to write uh, karangan. Okay. Okay. And another one is a science where the students can learn uh, about a periodic table. In Minecraft Education Edition, they can uh, conduct uh, lab experiments. And social studies as well. Uh, we can use Minecraft Education Edition to learn about geography, uh, Islamic studies, uh, history. Uh, okay, and then for sure we can learn about uh, computer science. Uh, and finally, we can learn about arts. So I will showcase some of my students' work related to the Minecraft uh, things. So this one is. Uh, for global warming and green technology uh, project where students uh, demonstrate their knowledge on how uh, human activity uh, cause uh, global warming. And they also propose uh, some of the, uh, you know, how to, how to uh, combat global warming. Uh, they, pro they, uh, they create a green technology by using uh, Minecraft Education Editions and then after that they will present uh, in the classrooms. Second one is uh, 
we also uh, use Minecraft Education Editions uh, to learn about map and deforestation uh, topic. So the left picture shows about uh, Borneo forest deforestation. Okay. Uh, they, are, they create uh, several maps uh, that showcase uh, the deforestation from 1980 to 2020. They also uh, demonstrate the understanding on the bushfire phenomenon in uh, Australia by using Minecraft Education Editions. And this is uh, outside classroom project where my students use Minecraft Education Editions in their collaboration project with Sun Bay, uh, Borneo Sun Bay Conservation Center in Sandakan Sabah. They created uh, Minecraft, uh, they created the Sun Bay Conservation Center in Minecraft uh, to promote, uh, to promote uh, sustainability, especially how to, how to protect uh, the Sun Bay, uh, the Sun Bay. And then uh, they also conduct uh, a student voice project. Uh, this is actually a SDGs and STEM project where my students become a facilitator uh, and mentor to more than 160 students from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 11 school, uh, 11 primary school uh, in Sandakan district. So they teach uh, these students how to uh, use Minecraft. Uh, and then they are also uh, conduct, conducting some uh, challenge, Minecraft challenge. And not to forget, uh, my students uh, also get participate in global project, uh, which is the SDGs Minecraft challenge in 2017, 2019. And uh, they managed to uh, uh, collaborate with more than seven uh, countries. And they propose uh, two solutions to the sustainable, uh, to, to the SDGs, which is they choose uh, climate actions and property, uh, not uh, poverty, sorry. Okay, so uh, when we when we we saw uh, some of these uh, example of my students' work, I I I can say that Minecraft is not only enable students to uh, you know to to understand better in in particular topics, but at the same times it allows students to be uh, to become a creative and critic uh, creative and uh, critical thinking and also to become uh, to have empathy uh, and for sure to become a global citizen okay so i believe that uh, most of the teachers uh, want to integrate this kind of new technology i would say that new technology even though i know that many teachers in malaysia uh, have started using Minecraft Education Edition in their classrooms. But then there is a point that, uh, there is a point where we, we don't know how or where to start with Minecraft Education Edition, or I would say uh, a new technology in the classroom. But this is my tips and tricks that I can share with all of you, uh, how to start with Minecraft Education Edition in, in our classroom. The first one, uh, this four thing is actually uh, a platform where we can get uh, a virus type, a lot of uh, resources about Minecraft Education Editions, where we can uh, go to the Minecraft Education Edition. I will I will share with you in detail. Uh, okay, uh, Minecraft Education Edition website or joining Microsoft Educator Center or either uh, go to the YouTube channel, which is, there is a lot of, I think, million uh, resources about Minecraft. And we can follow uh, teachers or educators or maybe gamers in Facebook or Twitter. Okay, 
First of all, uh, we can go to this website, which is Minecraft Education Editions. There we can find a lot of uh, uh, lessons or world example about Minecraft Education Edition. So we can choose our subject uh, there, and then we can uh, we can see there is a lot of uh, lesson example in, in that website. And my lessons also have been published in 2017 about landform in Malaysia, but for Malay versions. So you can go to the Minecraft Education Edition website to get this, uh, this, uh, uh, these resources. And you can also download world Min uh, Minecraft example world uh, that can be used uh, in, in, in our classroom. Secondly, we can uh, join Microsoft Educator Center where we are uh, not only learn about Minecraft Education Edition, but at the same time, we can get the certifications and certificate that can be used uh, for our professional smart development. Uh, so I think there is about 27 uh, courses uh, related to the Minecraft Education Edition in this website. And uh, you should try this. Uh, so I think, uh, I believe that after that, you can get idea on how to get, uh, how to start uh, integrating Minecraft in your classrooms. And also uh, not to forget, uh, this is, uh, I think my main, uh, my main resources, uh, how, how I start my journey in Minecraft Education Editions. I, I often uh, refer to the YouTube, Mr. YouTube. Uh, and I would suggest you this uh, to uh, Malaysia Educator, uh, which is uh, Cikgu Go Kok Ming and Cikgu Mumu Miao. Uh, in, in their channel, they, they are, uh, have uh, demonstrated how to use and integrate Minecraft in the classroom. So Cikgu Go Kok Ming is also one of the uh, global Minecraft mentor in Malaysia, and Cikgu Mumu Mio, if I'm not mistaken, she is a uh, uh, pendidikan Islam teacher. Okay. And we can also uh, find various type of uh, resources about Minecraft Education Edition from Twitter and Facebook. So I have attached uh, some of great, great educator in Malaysia and outside Malaysia, uh, which is in Malaysia, we can refer to Cikgu Fazli, Cikgu Aman, Cikgu Nat, uh, Moa Azrul, Cikgu Yi, Cikgu Go, Kok Min, and me also. So we can learn uh, and, and, and find uh, about Minecraft Education Edition. So, or even in Twitter, if we use uh, Minecraft Edu hashtag, we can find a lot of uh, idea or lesson example in Twitter by using uh, Minecraft educate Minecraft edu hashtag. So this is one of the strategy that I uh, that we use in this in school because to be honest I am not a gamer. I only play casual ga game like uh, Candy Crush, <laughs> uh, Plant and Zombie. Uh, but Minecraft, uh, I, I'm not I'm not really into Minecraft edu Minecraft. But uh, when we first, uh, when I first started integrating Minecraft, I, you know, I a bit lost because I'm not really know about the game. So what I do is I, uh, you know, I created this kind of mini program, which is called Minecraft Mentor Champion. Uh, because in my classroom, there is I think almost everyone in my classrooms know about Minecraft. So they're really powerful in Minecraft. They know about Minecraft. So I discuss with them on how uh, to play the Minecraft, uh, the Minecraft things. And then I, uh, you know, I construct the, uh, construct my lessons. And then just discuss with the students because I believe that Minecraft uh, allows students uh, uh, you know, to, uh, because one of my students uh, said that 
by using Minecraft Education Editions, they feel like they own the learning. Uh, they said uh, that to me, uh, and then I see a lot of development in my classrooms. Uh, when we, uh, after we started uh, integrate Minecraft Education in our classrooms. Uh, I really love to, uh, to share these uh, quotes. Uh, if a child can learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way we learn. I did the way they learn uh, to be to integrate Minecraft Education Editions or anything new, uh, particularly game in our classrooms. We don't need to wait uh, uh, for us to, to become a game expert. We just need to be brave to start. I think that's all for, for, uh, for today. Uh, so if you have questions, uh, we open for Q&A.